Good morning, folks. We've got our star tilted 90 degrees here to see the incoming plasma filaments dancing into view. Let's go around the world and into deep space, starting at spaceweathernews.com and finding the last 24 hours on our star were very quiet once again. Large coronal hole centrally located, no bright active regions, which keeps the solar flaring X-ray flux flatlined here. Top eruptive potential would be for those filaments. Here's a better look at the solar tornadoes and coronal cavity here. Let's go next to the solar wind. Telemetry shows peak intensity yesterday midday, so we've seen the peak stream on that one. We have another two days until the central coronal hole stream arrives, and we have yet to see the 180 degree phi angle shift. It is dropping, but needs to double the angle change to hit the earth aligned field setup. Let's go to Guatemala. Fuego has erupted again, numerous times actually. Nothing like the major eruption that killed hundreds in June, but multiple eruptive phases ran the course over a two day span. Comvite got some amazing shots of that one. Let's come to the GOES satellite fleet and witness a line of clouds thousands of miles long. Coming off the North Atlantic low, the convergence back to the west-southwest draws in plenty of moisture. Can't decide if it wants to stay Caribbean or peek in on the Gulf, but the line goes all the way back across the continent and into the Pacific Ocean, 75% of the way across that ocean, and a small 500-mile break is all that separates it from connecting to the Fiji and Tongan storm systems. Looking up. We've become accustomed to checking out Meteorshowers.org for a different perspective on our major annual meteor events. While some are from long-distance comets, not all are, and there are a number of Jovian objects known to produce showers like these. Geminids are one of them, due here middle of next month. Let's shift from aesthetics to science. The newest, longest-running, and hereby official Paleo CO2 dataset is here. Let's go and take a look at the chart where now is on the right. 500 million years ago is on the left, and again, currently we're on the right, history is to the left. How about another look at the Earth's temperature mitigation procedures? This one is about the North, whereby if Greenland has major melting processes, a short-term wilding of the weather occurs all the way down to Antarctica, all kinds of extremes, but years later, the oceanic signals arrive and everything gets colder. If you don't keep the ice locked at the poles, Fresh, chilled water is a wrench in the temperate climate engine. Folks, last night, we put out the Cosmology series finale for the year, called Plasma Universe, where many of you have learned a new word, collimated, how currents will self-align and maintain parallel as much as possible even while kinking, and that mainstream science already applies this to cosmic jets. Here at a protostar, ALMA has discovered powerful magnetic fields threading its jet and they use the word collimated literally three times in the first two paragraphs. They say it's helical field structure, which is largely wrapping around the jet, in fact mechanistically means that the jet is in fact collimated current, with the fields wrapping around. But interesting to note that this makes star jet features a double current flow maker, a generator in that regard. Interesting. Last two stories, we've got a deluxe dark matter fail. A smart new idea to look at detailed old data from Lux revealed no new clues about a mystery particle. And to top that off, when Hawk came back with absolutely no signs of dark matter, being in agreement with every other dark matter search ever, instead of heralding that finding, they question whether Hawk is capable of being used for this research. Didn't find it? Must be broken. Couldn't be that the stuff isn't actually there like every other search in history is finding. It must just be a problem with our machine world-class physicists at their best, folks. Highly recommend something real, Plasma Universe, that video from last night. And come check out Observing the Frontier 2019. The cosmology portions are going to be expanded and opened up with an added panel on this for the VIP docket. Folks, tomorrow is December and we're just 75 days away from the awake event of the year, otf.cells.com for registration. We've got your wind maps, followed by shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.